Wait a second. Oh. I, is this it? Is this where I think it is? Oh. Oh. And now. Here we are. The DLC, I think, is here. Splatsville and Goblin Square. Wait a second. Wait a second. I think we're on to something. You good? No, no, I'm not. <clears throat> what the? Why are you going through the intro again? Did I, did I press something wrong? Is this supposed to happen? I, I fell asleep on the train. Whoa. Game, you can't be doing this on me. Oh, shoot. Oh, the lines of code are going down. Oh, gracious. Uh. Hey, by the way, this is side order if you don't know. Hey. Dang, we broke the game. Hey, when that happens. Oh, so I guess on the train right back. Oh. Huh, something looks a little different. Hey, hello, up and out of mate. <gasps> I know who that is. Yo, eight, you awake or what? Agent eight. That's right, baby. They're back. Woo. Do you know who you are? Oh, that would have been so cool if it did, like, had the same data as agent eight on um, Splatoon 2, because I have the Octo expansion. Any bruises? You seem good. Although, actually, now that I say it, I think that everything is how I had it. So I can still customize it differently. But I kind of like this better. Can you see me? You no, know, I'm just casually blind. Okay. I like the green. Yeah. Okay, so pretty much most of the same stuff, but... Word. That's the eight I know. Yeah. Huh. Nice. If you hadn't come around, I didn't have a plan B. First of all, why are you in a machine? I need to know this. What's up? I got I got something on my face. Oh, right. You won't recognize me like this. I'm Pearl. You know, your bestie. The one that saved you out of that train and you almost got put into a blender where you died, crucially. I almost did. Hey, where's Marina? Hmm. No, for serious. I'm legit Pearl. I'm just trapped inside a robot. Wait, what? <laughs> Actually? <laughs> Not sure how I got this way, but here I am. She's actually stuck in the robo. Oh, no. Not sure where Marina went either. Uh-oh. That's not good now, is it? Eight, don't tell me you don't remember Marina, Maria either. It's cool. You just woke up. Might take some time for your head to clear. That's regular me on the left. And the one on the right is Maria. Okay. So I do have a theory. Okay, hear me out. Editor, can you try and uh, animate this the best you can? So pretty much, if you remember, when you beat the main game of Splatoon 3, Little Judge gets a headpiece, right? And if you look at some of the enemies, they look like bones and skeletons with weird liquid. What if those skeletons are from Salmonoid? The Salmonoid come from Salmon Run, obviously. And what if there's mind control? There's always mind control. You have to find it. And the one that rides Maria. And what if Marina's kidnapped and mind controlled? You got an idea where we should go from here? Marina's usually around to help from that. Well, I think we go up. Oh, duh. We should go find Maria. Marina. I don't know how to say the name, do I? She don't know what to do. Come on, eight. Let's get going. And apparently this is, uh, Inkopolis Square? I don't know. Basically World 2, and it's called Side Order. That's the other thing. Also, why does my character have earrings? I don't remember them having an earring. Wow, it looks abandoned. Also, because if you remember, in Splatoon 2, the, fi the supposed final 
of DLC, not DLC, Splatfest was Chaos versus Order. Obviously, being Pearl and Marina, Pearl being Chaos, Marina versus or being Order. That's also why I think she might be kidnapped, you know? This place kind of looks like Inkopolis Square. That's what I said. The lockers. <laughs> Pearl. Marina? Are you up there? Oh my goodness, she is captured and mind controlled by Little John. <laughs> Hang on, we're coming up to you now. Shake your leg, eh? Marina's at the top of the tower. Locker. Are these lockers? I don't remember them being there. One. I don't know, but this looks like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36. Although some about these lockers seem real familiar. Interesting. But also, you might have noticed that my sensitivity is like all the way up high. I might need that, I don't know. Wow, I remember this place. <gasps> Wait, hold on, that's actually to get to the old DLC. AKA the, um, Octo expansion or something. Yeah. So, let's make our way up to the tower. Hopefully nothing bad happens, because it'd be really funny if it did. Is this for real? Wherever we are, it's nothing like in Goblet Square Tower. It's getting the, it's giving, I'm getting the heebie-jeebies. No one says that, but okay. Keep your eyes open. Heads up, eight. Yeah, also, I mean, look at those. They're basically bones, and they come from stuff that also seems similar to, um, Salmon Run. Whoa, dually sculptures. Or something, they're at least duallys. And I'm cool. You remember your way around a weapon, White. Plus, press CR to show them who they're dealing with. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. We got more incoming. Yeah, these literally look like salmonoids, but they're bones. Like, they're slightly different because they're skeletons. That one's huge! What did we get ourselves into? Ooh, I think that was the last of them. Huh? Where did I get the weapon from? I don't know. Your guess is good as mine. It just feels like something I had in me. Oh no, Pearl's been fused with a weapon. And also a robot. Mm, yes, but never mind that. The elevator is running again. Hopefully there's not a mysterious figure in there. Oh, I probably should have read that text. Also, ooh. Nice. Anyway. Well, wait. Ooh. What is that? I think that's just where that came from. But also black ink. Interesting. You know, that's never good. Oh, nice. We enter the elevator. Hey, look, there's a person. Well, I think. You with those fish we bust up? Sick of mate. Cool it. I'm not your enemy. Just another bystander who got sucked in. I take it you two follows Marina's voice here, correct? Say what? You know Marina too? Hmm, I think we should trust this person. Hopefully they don't betray us. That'd be really funny. Wait a second. They betray us. Oh my goodness. Nah, I still think Lil Judge. Judge is evil. First things first. I'm... A... Act? I don't know. As for Marina and me, we go way back. For real? Yo, leave her then next time. I'm Pearl, and this is Eight. And I'm DJ Smashball. <laughs> cool meeting you. A act? I've been in the area since I came to. I heard Marina's voice from up there from the spire, so I came to find her. But those bony fish found me first. I call them gelatons. That's actually kind of smart. That's why I'm trapped in an elevator. The spire is crammed with gelatons. This wound they gave me wouldn't heal, so I'm kind of stuck here. Yikes. Things aren't looking super good for the home team, huh? Don't count on out us yet. I've been waiting for an octoling with a drone. Said your name was eight? You're the one I need to see. Oh, Pearl. Check out what happens when you eat the... Oh, I, I thought said eat. Set this colored chip into that palette. <laughs> yep, eat the chip. Nom, nom, nom. Huh, it tastes like pink. Palette? I'm supposed to know what that is? Yes. 
Oh, you're talking about this thing? Granted, I still don't know what that is. You got it. Now let's set this cello color chip into it. Okay, but whatever happens is on you. Here goes nothing. Eight. Slap that chip on in there. Hey, we did. We set up the chip. Whoa, is that me or did your weapon get stronger? If you set a bo whole bunch of colored chips in here, you could walk over all those fishy freaks. No doubt. Play your chips right, and you can make it all the way up to the top. Whatever's going on in the city, Marina's in the thick of it. Or so I'm assuming, at least. But this injury has left me sidelined. Our Shrek team will be limited to you two. We're on it, eight. Act. Deep breaths, eight. It's time to go find Marina. Boosh. Alright, hit the button to the top floor already. I'd love to, but this elevator only goes one floor up at a time for story reasons. Because obviously that'd be too easy. What? How come? You mean I gotta be patient? Yes. Look, I'm in a hurry myself. But we're playing... Wait, hold on. But we play with what we're dealt. And we just have to take this a little at a time. Now then, we're almost at the next floor. Are you two ready? No. I mean, honestly, I'm not. So how many floors are there? However many floors that was, I don't feel like counting. Easy. First floor. Step number one. Don't die. We're up to floor 1F. It's the floor right above the foyer. Each floor has a different objective you need to clear. Take care of that, and you can go up to another floor. Your objective here is destroy that weird portal thing. Also, the thing you send to your pallet is a main damage distant. So I guess... Pretty much what I think this will do is will do more damage the farther away your opponent is when you when you splat them. Color chip. Now that you said it, you just, yep, that's exactly what I just said. There's a practice target right there. Okay. Well, eight. Want to science it out or jump right into the mix? Now logic would tell me, hey, you should probably test this out. But I'm like, going right in. Oh, nice, that cage would take you across. Aw, oh, dang. I wanted to really just fall off, it was gonna be funny. Oh, I can use this as a glider. Oh, okay. Gelatins spawn from those portals. Come on, we gotta splat them. You hyped for this, eight? Me too. Oh, boy. Oh, no, they're already squirts. That sounds wrong. They're already splatting me. Ah. Wait, I have a, I have a curling bomb. Oh. It's on the ropes. Oh, no. I don't see any, though. Okay, and... Oh, yeah. Also, what's funny is I'm watching a live stream right now of the Octoric... Or, of this... Not the Octoric expansion. Of the side order as well. <laughs> yeah, I'm literally double-taking here. Look. You have to have your priorities. You have to play a game, and you have to watch someone else play the game. I mean, if you want to know, it's Failboat. You might know him, you might not. I don't really care. And he is a little bit behind. About the time where I'm watching, he's just now customizing his character. So, but I mean, it's fine. Anyway, I knew 8 had in the bag. Yeah, that was solid work. You're learning to make the most of your colored chips. There are different kind of colored chips. You get one every time you head to a new floor. Here, I'll show you. Poison ink. Heck yeah. What you're seeing here is the next floor, and details on the color chip you'll get there. That color chip is poison ink. I'd tell you what it does, but it's kind of already written there. So it increases the damage enemies take when they're on your ink. Ooh, that sounds fun. It's cool. No teacher-like experience, am I right, eight? Ooh, and then we also have palette, but... I mean, not like that does much. Well, I guess we have to do it because we don't have any other options. I assume we'd probably get more options if I had to guess. And now we're on 2F. Home turf floor. Normal. I wonder if I get different weapons too. I count three portals this time. Same draw as before? No problem, right? No problem. The poisoning color chip is nice. Says your enemies would take more damage while you ink. While in your ink. Oh, word? I want to see. Shoot the ink around the base of the target there. What if I don't? It'd just be really funny, I promise. Look, 
I am very good at um trying to do stuff without knowing. Trust me. Oh no, why is he big? The big gelatins will ram you if they can. Oh look, it's taking poison damage. Oh nice. Oh. Oh, and there's also ink bottle. Pick it up and you'll have half your ink back. Oh, dang. Not even all your ink. Um, guys, he's trying to come. He's trying to come. That sounds wrong. They're coming. Please help. Oh, okay, there we go. One left. Oh, and you also have three lives. Okay, so it's not a uh, one death and you die. Oh, gracious. What the heck am I getting into? Okay, guys. Ha ha, <laughs> take that, suckers. Okay, but this is actually cool. You can even see, like, the damage. Because it's purple. Which, I hope purple means poison. I don't know, maybe it means I'm um, prostate or something. I don't know. And now we get poison ink. And I assume once we're on that floor, we also get it. So it's not like you get it after you're done. You two are handling this place like pros. Maybe you do have what it takes to reach the top. I was gonna ask about that. How come you know so much about this place? A, a act. Fair question. Everything I'm telling you, I'm pulling from the elevator's console. I've learned that trick for the same place Maria did. Though I don't blame you for being skeptical. For real? I guess it's time that Maria is a turbo nerd when it comes to machines. If you went to the same school, I'm not surprised that you can do the same stuff. Well, she was a few ranks above me, but I wouldn't put quite myself in her league or something like that. Anyway, here's your next color chip. Lucky bomb drop. Lucky for who? These lucky bombs will appear when you defeat enemies. They explode on their own for big damage. Sounds great. I'm always wishing a bomb would show up, right? Blow away anyone. Oh, wait, what? <laughs> I'm always wishing a bomb would show up to blow any away anyone har that's harassing me. Okay. But this time, it's hard. Wait, hold on. What does L do? Okay. Oh, wait, what's the difference? I don't know. Oh, I guess I get also clear ward. Oh, yeah, there's, like, stats that I can keep. So this is kind of like a, um... I don't really know how to explain it. Special surprise. That definitely doesn't worry me anyway. Hey, you said Lucky Bomb is on your road. Isn't that kind of <laughs> dangerous for eight? Nah, it shouldn't hurt either you. Just them. Why, you worried? Hey, I believe in it. Just asking some questions, you know. It's safe. If you, if you say it's safe, then bombs away, baby. Huh? What's that thing? It's a bomb! Oh, sorry. It's a can special. Grabbing one will fill half your special gauge. Yep, your special is by pressing the right stick. Remember, if you get mobs, blast blast out with them with the reach slider. Yippee. Whoa, wait, what the? Octolings? A bicycle? A lollipop? Okay. And it's still the poison ink, right? Right? So when I kill enemies, bombs just deploy on the- Oh, shoot. Okay, that was an epic dodge, I have to admit. Oh, shoot. Oh, shoot, shoot, shoot. What have I done? What have I done? Oh, gracious. And oh, gracious. Oh, gracious and oh, gracious. Hmm. A lot of enemies on this floor. You don't say. But wait, also look, it rises as you ink it more. That's pretty cool. Oh, shoot. Shoot, shoot, shoot. One left. Okay. This one's almost in the bag. Just don't die. We will call you a failure. I'm sorry, dude. What the? Uh, ram them over. Oh, I rammed him so hard, he just went, yep! And down he went. And floor three cleared. Okay, that's pretty cool. Lucky bomb drop. So does yellow mean like lucky? Good hustle weight. I've got the lowdown on the next floor for ya. Ink saver. Oh, we got two color chips from this one? Twice as noise. Hey, I've been wondering though. It says reward there. What is that about? It's how much Membucks <laughs> Oh <laughs> Membucks really?
Not not ink books or splat books, mem books. You get from clearing this floor. Not sure what they are what those are for yet, but they probably seem like something very important. That maybe the player will find out soon enough after they fail. Well if you say so, table with that for now, I guess. Eight, when you need a break from climbing the tower, press plus to let me know. I'll stop the elevator right here till you're ready. No sense putting yourself past the limit. Well, okay, goodbye. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. So, I get two, and this is an ink saver, which means decreasing the amount of ink consumed by your main weapon. Interesting, okay. Gliding floor, ooh. Interesting. What gives? Not seeing any portals. Different objectives this time. Th this time, you need to ink up that zone and guard up till the time is up. Ah, kind of like splat zones. Yep, but I don't see a way to get the high ground with that zone. That wall looks ink proof. Hmm, I wonder what we have to do. Oh my goodness, we're gonna have to glide. That's where I come in. Hey, if you ever want to slow your fall, press B1 midair. Oh, oh, wait, I also look fish. Interesting. Fish. Wait, no, actual fish, I think. Whoa, roller skates. What is this stuff? Pancakes? I think our pancakes here. Do you have a thing against pancakes? No, I just really want to know why they're here. Okay, so if I just go like... Whee! Okay. Boom. Or bam. Perfect landing. Oh, so I have to wait a couple seconds. Okay. Gross. Those enemies are coming out of spraying their ink all over. Ah, oh, dang. I hate when that happens. Ah, they're getting, like, black stuff. Ugh. Those enemies are pouring up from another kind of portal. The problem, though, they can't be destroyed. Of course they can. Because why would they? Although, why do the fish... The fish can just move their tails and they can fly. I don't think that's how physics work. Granted, I guess I can turn to a squid and a kid. And I guess that doesn't apply to the laws of physics, so... Um... That's fair. Okay, so, so far so easy, but I think since this is like a tutorial, this ain't gonna be that difficult. Interesting, okay. Oh yeah, we're on a roll. You know, this drone body's not so bad if it means 8 doesn't have to do all the work. This next color chip will help with that too. Use it right and you'll be a powerful ally to 8. Drone killer whale? It lets me use killer whale? Now we're talking. Oh, no way. That's sick. I like how it ma makes me choose the floor, but at a point like this, it's just like, there is no point because, I mean, it. I'm going to have to go for the first one anyway, so it's like, like, you get a choice, but not really. New floor. Time to burst out the old killer where, uh, what? More like killer fail. Pearl, you can't use your drone feature until the drone gauge is full. No kidding. Fine. Guess the drone gauge fills on its own after a while. Once it's full, look out, world! Ooh, actually, you don't even need to wait. Pick up that drone battery and it'll fill up some of your drone gauge. Now then, your objective here is to get that turbine tower to the goal. Oh, kind of like the, um, in the, uh, the, the, the thing. The thing? The thing. I forgot what it's called. Um, try battle? Well, my dad, I don't know. A turbine tower? Huh. Fastest way I know to make the things happen is shoot them. And let's get going, because we don't have anywhere else to go. Whee! Okay. So let's just see. Oh, yeah, look, it is filling up on some. Yeah, it's not when I ink, it's just when it fills up on Oh, interesting. Okay. Oh, word, these fills up a ton of gauge. gauge. Okay, so I have to actually hit the turbine. Yeah, checkpoint one. The turbo tower. Ah, oh, dang. Interesting. So I guess it's very similar to um. My heart, yo, what just happened? Uh, breaking the checkpoint caused a shockwave. Now we know. So I think it's kind of like in um that one area. The one area. Yeah, that one area. You mean tower defense? Yeah. Uh. How do I get up there? Uh. What the. 
Whoa, wait, what? Check out the air from that jump. Wait, what? Oh, they come with springs! Oh, that's what happened. Oh, dang. Okay, that's really cool! Okay, that enemy has to be... I mean, granted, it's saying much because if I say it's my favorite stuff, like, well, you've only really experienced four enemy types, this being one of them, so... But still, that's sick! Because most of the time, they don't usually give some to the player after you defeat them, and this one does. It's a spring. So, you know, that's pretty cool. And now we got Drone Killer Whale. Nice! We're about at the halfway point. Cool. Can't believe this is all going down in the middle of our big world tour. On tour, are you? That tracks. You're, you're some kind of musicians, I take it. Yeah, Maria and I are off the hook. The world's most powerful power team. Huh. So Marina hit big as an artist, did she? Pearl. <laughs> no. Pearl. Elimination. Maria? Hang on, girl. We're on our way. I did not like the sound of that. Let's pick up the pace. Yeah, good call. Main rage. Ooh. No, not rage. <laughs> ah. Okay, increases the range of your main weapon. Makes sense. Okay, cool. So, what happens if we reach the top? Double zone floor. Ooh. Oh, so there's like splat zones again, but now there's two zones. Hold up. There are two zones this time? You just have to secure them both, I guess. I see a disc plate for the drone way back there. Put three of them together and you can give an enemy a taste of a step-off song. I don't know what that does, but I like the sound of it. Let's snag him if we can, eh? We got two main rage color chips this time. This ought to help us keep them off our turf. Ooh, wait, hold on. What is the range? Wait. I do want to see, because like, if I do more damage if I'm farther away, right? How, what's the farthest I can get to him? Uh, oh, nice. Also, I... Oh, I like how they added barriers around this area. It makes sense, because I can definitely see some people falling off. Don't worry, I'm probably one of them. You're going to have to ink both zones there. Okay. Makes sense. Because I think there's some similar in that in uh, zones anyway. The splash zones? Not splash zones, but you know that is. Whoa. Got a disc plate. That's the first piece. Now, I kind of want to save it because we might need it later, but I also just want to use it. Maybe around like the halfway point or something, I don't know. Yeah, so, um, yeah, let's just go ahead and get it just to see it. Ready for my step off song? Alright, you asked for it. Here comes a step off song. Okay, so it's like a shockwave. Yep, the pour's not looking, looking too good either. Oh, so it like stuns it. Okay, so it not only kills the enemies, but stuns them. Or stuns the portal that they spawn from. That is pretty powerful. Interesting, okay. We're on fire. Let's keep it moving, and don't stop till we hit the top. Hmm? That was interesting. Then I just floor let you choose your own objective. You get a different color chip for each one. Different difficulties, too. Hmm. Well, which one are you... Well, you're the one with legs, eight. Also eight. Or the other... Or act. I guess you don't have legs. Well, then what are those? Feet. Exactly. Okay, so... So we got dodge roll attack. Cause the dodge roll do to do damage. The damage increased by having a rush attack color chip. Okay. And this allows you to turf more. Okay, so it's just... You... Shoot more, I guess. I don't know. And, and then this is a pr easy, normal, and hard. So I got rolling, escape, artist, and rolling shell. But max lucky. Increase the luck chain maximum. The longer the chain, the more likely enemies are to drop items. Then that. Ooh. This color chip this time is the max lucky chain. You want to explain what that is? Whoa. Beating two enemies right after another starts... A lucky chain. The higher you get your lucky chain, the more likely you see items or lucky bombs. So basically, we want to go on splatting spree. Ha! <laughs> we gotta do that anyway. Okay, and this one is to destroy the portals. Yo, there's some weird out in the open here. What that thing? Looks fairly. 
looks fairly harmless. Try touching it. Whoa. That's sick. Okay. Wait, can I just keep splatting it? Ah, no. You're doing good. Oh, no. Wait, I got this. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, gracious. Whose choice was this, yours? It, it was your choice, buddy. We'll be fine. That's what every person says before something bad happens. Ooh, nice, I got a disc piece. I also got another disc piece. And then guess what? I'm probably gonna get a third disc piece if I find it. I don't see it. Well, if I didn't find it, oh well. Nice. This is really fun. Oh, and there's, uh, that's not this piece. You lied. You lied to me. Anyway, I guess we can just flat this now. Oh, wait, hold on. Bop. There we go. That's how it's done. 7F. Clear. Nice. Okay. Max Lucky Chain. No sign of Maria on this floor either. Hope she's doing alright. She seems a little burned out lately. I guess we still got a war tour to finish, but after that, I promised her we find a quiet spot together and take it easy for a while. So we gotta save her and fast. Sounds like Maria met the right people after she got she got free. But this is Marina we're talking about, so I expected as much. Well, you know what they say: no one knows you like the folks you grew up with. Plus, Marina had to learn the language when she got to Greater Nicopolis, so you gotta figure out she struggled at least a little. I'd love to sit down and swap Maria's stories, but this ain't the time. Every second we're not- Wait, every second we spend chewing the fat is not is the second we're not finding her. Oh, so we have two again. So we have- Wait a second. Oh. So do I have to do these eventually? And we only have two more floors. But I bet you the black hole floor ain't probably gonna be the last floor. Ooh. What's this? Huh? Check out this one. Check me on this. But are those new enemies? They're drones. They're not bones. They're like gelatons, like the rest. But you only have to be three to clear the floor. Yo, they do they got wheels for free? Well, I won't that make them hard to catch? Eh, whatever. You can take on pretty much anything, eight. We got this. Defeat the flame foes. Okay. Makes sense. Sounds simple. I should mention this, but you make case go faster, bite. Okay. Get him, boys. Oh, nice. Okay. It was way easier. It, 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 mostly. They're slippery, but there's only one left. And this is medium, they said? Jeez! Oh, there. There he goes. Hold on. He can't escape now. Get over here. <laughs> <laughs> I just ran into him. <laughs> and then he just exploded. That was fun. Maining cupboard coverage. We're up to pretty high now, huh? Bet we're racking up them color chips. Save for yourself. You can press X to check your palette. Whoa. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Wow, we got a bunch. Yo, what's other range of the power stuff on the left? Those are color chip tones. Color chip tones? Color chips come in tones based on their effects. Each tone has a different color and palette. Okay, so orange is range, red is power, S is support. Purple is support, green is lucky. Oh. Well, I just said that. So, if you're done. And then, a cyan is drone. Interesting. And blue is like dodge, roll attack. Okay, nice. Ooh. Oh no. Oh man, not those things again. Pearl knows the the horrors of those eight balls. The the, the nightmares I face because of those stupid things. Just, just... Afraid so. You have to get those infinity balls. Or I guess eight balls, I don't know, over to the goal. The good news though. Yo! They won't ever fall off the stage. Yes! Hear that eight? You don't need to hold back. Yeah, we go. Okay, that's nice. Hmm. Yeah, I. So. Shoot. How do I do it again? Oh, eh. Hey. 
So how much? About 800 damage, which I guess ain't that bad. Okay, let's just make it go a little bit faster. Nope, go back. And obviously we cannot ink those, but we can get some of those. And they won't ever fall the stage, so I guess the horrors aren't going to be that bad this time. There we go. Oh, uh, oh, oh, it's like a magnet. Okay, that's one. And there's a big guy. He's coming after me. Help. Well, the gelatin can't help himself from from chasing any infinity ball they see. That definitely does sound like an issue. Uh, there's a guy behind me right there. Oh, that actually worked. No way. Huh. I mean, it's not like they... They said themselves. It doesn't knock off. They can eat them. Oh, no, that'd be dangerous. Be funny, though, but dangerous. Heads up. Ron, we're coming to the top floor. That's where we find Maria, right? Probably, though something about it seems different from the floors up until now. Eight, Pearl. I I watch yourselves. What's this eight? Are they worried about us? Huh. Is something funny? Nah, you just sound like Maria when you say that. But enough messing around. Let's go find Maria. No going back gate. This is it. Control room. Huh. Nope. Nope. Dang it. It'd be funny if something bad were to happen. We find low judge. Oh my goodness, you're so right. If my theory is actually correct, though. Huh. Look, looks a little... Wait, is that actually Pearl? I don't see Pearl. Wait a second. <gasps> is that DJ Octavio shit? I was right! Well, mostly about the mind control part. I was right. Hey, Rena. Yo, can she even hear me? Probably not. I mean, she's mind control. Guess not. She's tangled all up in that weird machine. Oh, shoot. She is being mind control. Intruders confirmed. Commencing grayscaling. scaling. Sit tight. We're going to get you out of that thing. Ready to rock eight? Oh, no. We don't have any confirmation of low judge, though. Oh, yeah. Okay. That's a powerful barrier between us and Maria. Oh, great. Oh, gracious. Now we know what to take out first. Yeah, um... Detecting resistance to grayscaling. Must commensify. Attachments. Is that a portal? Not funny looking. Also, yeah, and I feel like we should shoot it. Oh, shoot. No, it's shooting at us. No, it does the shooting. Hey, I think those portals are powering the barrier. You see, that does sound like a problem. Wow. Well, there goes. Flat them all. Still got two portals left. Seriously, I love those springs. Also, the music's pretty good. Don't really talk about that much. Oh, no. Ah. I can't hide in this ink. Oh, boy. Um, hurry. We have to splat it. Imagine if just this is it. Yep, you just beat the whole game. Go, you. Sweet, just one to go. Oh, shoot, I have this weird, uh, ink thing where it's like... I'm, like, one... I'm basically one hit point away. Oh, shoot. Run. Fine. Um... I just splat it. And fast. Oh, boy. Yes, that's all of them, right? Error. An unexpected error issue has arisen. Oh, shoot. What the heck? Ah! There we go. The barrier's down. Hey, take out the gun she's tangled up in. I'm trying, man. It's really difficult. Ah! I didn't even see those guys, and then I just killed them. Oh, there's a thing. That's not very descriptive. I know. There we go. Come on. Oh, shoot. Oh, gracious. Oh, right. It does still poison him. I forgot about that. Did I do it? Hey, I did. I beat it. I beat the game. I did it. I saved her. I beat the game. Well, that was easy. Ugh. Is that eight and pearl? Hopefully the machine doesn't try and suck Marina back in. That would be terrible. 
air gray scaling interrupt intruders confirmed disorderly i can't read who is this for i am order itself a conscious generated from the process of many years of stability i am now fully realized there's no further ah, i can't read that fast all these things will be converted from memory oh this is bad this house is shaking like crazy oh shoot oh frick oh Nintendo presents. Oh no. Oh no. Oh, <laughs> yeah, just casually protect ourselves. Oh, and down we go. Splatoon 3. Side order. Okay, so I don't think Lord Judge is a part of this, but now we have order. Yeah, side order. You know, I wonder if Side Order would have won. Would we have something called Side Chaos and have it be the opposite? Man, that would have been so cool. Like, seeing, like, different sides of things. Because, like, if Side Order would have won... Oh, hi. Right. Eight. Eight. Please be okay. Pearl, you're no longer a robot. Dang. <laughs> hey. Oh, thank goodness. Pearl, eight's woken up. Huh. Oh, you guys. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Eight, thank you so much for freeing me. Did I say you just free her that easily? Surprise to see him in the flesh? Maria worked on magic and bam, I'm back, baby. Wait, how'd you do it? I'm... I'm really, really sorry. Those dramatic days in Orderland module that stuck you in drone form and... Kinda did all that other stuff, too. Say what? Dramatic days in... Uh, right. Let me back you up a bit. Wait, hold on. What are those other those folders? A uh, dancing pearl. Infinity. This is Memverse. It's a prototype VR. That's virtual reality. I kind of made. Oh, that's why it's so black and white. Your virtual reality? Hold up. You're saying we've been in a fake place this whole entire time? That's right. The only weird thing in the Memverse is our minds. Oh, that's why they're called Membucks. The fuzzy cloud we met was order. It took control of me and caused this whole Memverse to go haywire. Interesting. It forcibly connect who knows how many people to the Memverse. Their minds are here now. Oh no. Wait, those are the other people. The other... Like, the other people playing this game as well. Because there's multiple Agent 8s, right? There's like... The per like failboat, the person I'm w I'm also watching from, which is how I got put into this. I take it. <sighs> act, act. I'm so sorry. I never intend you to get roped up in my mess. It's fine. We have other problems. Like, what to do about this situation that we're in? You're absolutely right. We need to do something about order. Order's ultimate goal is a colorless world of order. A place where nobody has a will of their own. They just do whatever they're told day in and day out. Huh, is that why people didn't like order? Oh. I guess that makes sense. Although seriously, if if order would have won, would would Pearl be stuck? Would Marina be a part of this? Or would Marina be the drone? Would Pearl have made the VR world? How, how would it look? Like I seriously want to know like the opposite side. Like, what happened? What would have happened if the other side would have won, you know? Orders using the Memverse to make that dream a color- a changeless, colorless world a reality. What's the beef for change? Actually, hold up, I thought the Memverse isn't real. Even if it gets what it's won in the Memverse, who cares? The real world stays in the real world, right? Hopefully, um, they don't try and get out of the computer and try and hack the real world, right? Yeah, about that. Order is using some what it calls Grace Gun to neutralize the will of everyone that's trapped here. Also, why is the art you made for Pearl and Marina basically anime girls? <laughs> like, you don't see that, right? So, if someone goes the Grace Storm here on the Memverse, it has the effect on, on the real person that sums up. Yeah, anyone who goes through Grace Gun. We're slowly with the real and active and actual reality too. Oh, that's terrible. And order just getting started. 
They plan to keep pulling more and more people to the members. Oh no. If we don't stop it, people all over the world will lose their wills. Life will be over as we know it. That's terrible. Yo, that sounds bad, but not in our watch order. Again, I'm really sorry. This is all my fault. Nope, nah. I know you had good reasons for making the members. If that creep order hijacked your work, it's gonna be sorry it ever tried. So, here's my question though. If, like I said, if order would have won, blah blah blah, would Marina still make this? Because she's the tech person. Or would Pearl have made it? Like, and how would it work otherwise? You know, it would be really cool if someone made a mod for this game that was like side chaos or something. Like, if the opposite side had won. And considering some of the mods I've seen people make, I wouldn't be surprised. Also, modders, if you're hearing this, you should totally make that. Well, let's do this. We're all gonna kick that loser out together. How pearly. You always say the coolest things. Hup. So, she can just turn to a robot and will. Nice, don't worry, I got your back. Let's get the show on the road. Oh yeah, also camera. Nice. Wait, hold on, uh, set the scene. Oh, filter. I haven't messed with these a lot. Date. Uh, spot name. Controls. Well, but anyway, I don't really care. I just really wanted to look. But yeah, looking at all these people, look. They don't have a brain. They don't have any eyes. This person has eyes. What even is this? This is like a shrimp. No, I actually just think that's just a shrimp. What about the menu? We got nothing on that one. Oh, imagine Inkopolis Plaza. Oh, very similar to what... Yeah, I'm at very similar to what it was in um, Splatoon 2 Octo Expansion. Hey, hey, do you have a second? I like how we saved Marina, because like, I feel like that would have been the thing for the whole thing. Not like, hey, you like got through the main tutorial. I've been running up some scans. Somehow, Order jacked up the threat level in the spire as high as it goes. Ah, here we go. Why does it gotta do that? And, why is it, and what does that mean for us? Well, for one thing, the spire's suddenly dollar. But that's not the worst part, you see? When they have lives even once, would you get, would get you kicked out of the spire. Oh, okay. So wait a second, if I would have lost all my lives anyway, which I didn't even die once, that would have happened? Or would I not get kicked out? Now I really want to figure that out. And that'll probably happen since enemies hurt more. Okay, yeah, I'm seeing some challenges here. That said, I built the Mammiverse to begin with. I don't have to take this sitting down. Now I'm outside the spire, I can hack the system, overwrite the changes, and lower the difficulty. Whoa, you can do all that? Glad to have you back on our side. This is what the mem bucks are for, right? The thing is, I need... Priz? What? Priz? Oh, so it's a different thing than mem bucks. There you go. Those prayers were generated when you came out of the spire. Every time you leave, your colored chips and mem bucks will automatically be converted into prayers. Wait, so my mem bucks is? Wait, that's confusing. So we're gonna bind to the spire, but if it kicks, kicks our butt first, we get more prayers. And giving it prayers for Maria makes it easier to. Okay, interesting, interesting. Here are the signs I figured out how to hack so far. Want me to fix anything in your favor? So wait, then what do mem bucks do? So we have max lives, damage reduction, max armor. Oh, this is for me. Um, broken armor jump. Oh, automatically launch in the air when your armor is broken. Ooh, okay. And then we have drone action shots, drone turf charge, drone ink mine, and that's all you have. Interesting. Every time you have a okay, yeah, I don't care. Stop order. One more thing. Here, H. I have a pallet for you. You got Marina's palette. One of those things called chips go. I didn't know you had your own. Selling this palette to your drone, I mean, Pearl will let you use a new weapon. I did some research, and it doesn't seem to be any other palette in the Memverse. Really? Early, 
Oh, okay. When you save me, I found some. Oh, that's sick. Okay. But you can't change paths while climbing the spire. So if you want to switch, be sh make sure to press plus before getting into the elevator. Makes sense. Makes sense. So let's check these out real quick. One. You got Marina's dev diary. Hey, what's this? Yo, Maria, it's your diary. Did you keep this under lock and key? Oh, I, I guess you kind of did. Oh, well, <laughs> maybe it's for the best. It's a little embarrassing, but if you do want to read it, feel free. You sure, Rena? I'm going to leave this with you, wait. If you want to read it, you can do it from the menu of X. Okay, so now let's open the next locker. You got a banner. <laughs> hey, a banner. They put all kinds of stuff in here. I guess we got more keys to open. Any more eight? Yep, one more. Agent Force Palette. Oh, that's my, um... Which character is that? I... Wait, is this the one in the DL... And not the DLC, the main story? I think so. Right? Whatever. Okay, that's pretty cool. In the world, this is Agent Force Palette. Oh, yeah, Agent Four. Who is that again? Dang. One of the new Squid Beaks platoon members that Captain Cuttlefish introduced us to. Yep, okay, I was right. Oh, yeah, the one who was supposed to be such a big shot. So, uh, what's Angel Poor's Fallot doing here? <laughs> what? Well, Pat's actually represent a part of someone's soul. Oh, no. <laughs> All my past souls are in here. Splatoon 2, Splatoon 3, and even Splatoon 1. That makes the least amount of sense. Yeah, I know. Okay, I guess Order somehow put a part of Agent Soul to the members turning into a pallet. What? For real? Man, I, we want to keep this with us. Huh. But we're broke. Dang. Well, are we really broke? I don't know. So first things first. What's in records? Oh, nothing. So let's look at the color chip. Okay. Oh, nice. I got new color chips. Nice. Okay, so these are like all the different ships. So I assume this is for short distance. Uh, I can't... I think these are for, like, different weapons, maybe? Okay. Oh, so those are, like, the only ones. Oh, so blue is mobility. Okay. Interesting, interesting. Oh, nice. Got a new title. So, we got Swarming Legano. Marching Andante. Battering Lento. Pa panicking a la Mambo, Drizzling Caprizioso, Porto, <laughs> great name, Whirling Alexcelerado, a Springing Sprigatito from Pokemon, Crushing Talonfall, and then a bunch of these guys which we don't know when what the heck is that? Agent 3. Wait a second. Agent 3. One from Splatoon 2, right? Oh no. That definitely looks like Agent 3. You see the body, right? And this is also Marina, uh, this place. Yeah. But this has to be Agent 3. Because if you remember on the Splatoon 2 Octo Expansion, we had to fight basically yourself, pretty much. Because Agent 3 is supposed to be you in, Oct in, in the main story. What is that? I don't even know. And also Maria's Dev Diary. The final fest is over. Yeah, this is... So this is pretty much after. Oh, no. Over four years ago. That was four years ago? Jeez. And this is... This is 2020? That can't be right. Whatever. Well, over four years ago. Oh, yeah, that's fair. The final fest is over. After we lost, I felt so bad for Team Order. They tried so hard. But at the end of the Splatfest... Pro said we were going to take over the world. A war tour. Can you believe that? I can't wait. I haven't felt like this since I was on the sidelines for that battle. Right before I came to Angopolis Square. Off the Hook is going to be on a world tour. My schedule is going to be super packed. And we got venues to schedule. Roadies to hire. New songs to write. Ah! <laughs> I don't know what I'd do without Pearl. Pearl Hakuzi Appreciation Corner. When I, when I lost and... Wait, what? When I felt lost in directions after deserting the Octarian army, it was Pearl who showed me hope. The two of us formed off the hook, and ever since, I felt like I've been, I'm just waiting to wake up from a dream. Sniff. Sorry, there's someone in my desk. Okay, I need a good cry there. Oh, better now. 
Now I can forget about the biggest. Now I can't forget about the biggest item on my to-do list. It's not even world tour business, but it's every bit as important. Project members, name not final. That's what I'm going to be calling my project to help Agent Eight and all the other, all the others Kamoko pray, prayed on. Gotta make that one of my top priorities. So this was made almost immediately after. A view image. Nice image. Oh, I got a new sticker. Nice. Whoa. That's crazy, though. So, she worked on this immediately after. Here's my question, though. Would Pearl have worked on it? Look, you need to stop giving us too many questions. So, if I go back in... Obviously, we're not going to do another round yet because... You know, reasons. Whoa. Even the foyer looks different now. There's a bunch of more stuff here. Okay, so there's practice stuff now. Oh, uh, didn't Maria say something about Pallet? Like, you can't train while inspire. You better be cool with what we got before born the elevator, huh? Wow. Oh, I remember these. Okay. Ooh. And then you can get this. But yeah, what if Agent 3 is in here? <laughs> just find just find fellow YouTubers. That'd be really funny. <laughs> just me being in there. Hi guys. What would my palette be? Mm, I definitely I have a preferred weapon, which is like um Wait, what if it was actually based on my character in the real world? Because this is Agent 8. This is a different character. That would be sick. But what would it be? be probably my most used weapon, I assume, right? Which I, I think is the, uh, what's it called? Squiffer. Not the Squiffer. Splatana. And what palettes do I have again? Let me check. Okay, so I have, uh, doesn't really help. Okay, so we got pearls. Oh, pearls. Most common tone. Oh, okay, so do they, like, appear more, half, more often? And Marina's palette, which is drone. And then... Agent 4's palette, which is pretty much my palette. Okay, interesting. Oh, it would be so cool if Little Buddy would appear. But anyway, guys, that's going to be it for this video. I'm definitely going to be playing Side Order a lot more because this is already sick. Like, it's way different from the Octo Expansion, despite being almost like a sequel to that in a weird way. Like, I definitely like it, plus, like, it, you get upgrades after each session, which makes it feel like, I don't know, what games have, like, upgrades after each time you play? And you get stronger each time, and even if you die, it's not Dead Cells? I guess you're not wrong, Dead Cells is a game similar, like, you can get upgrades, new weapons, and as you keep playing. Like, while you die a lot, and I know from a lot of experience, you get practice. You get a ton of practice, and you get cells to get new weapons to get... You also get, like, cool customizable stuff. So I guess that's kind of similar in that sense. But anyway, hope you all have an amazing day, and I'll see you in the next one.